Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another Friday Business Intelligence Tip. Today, we're going to be talking about uh, something that came up for me and a customer here earlier this week, where we had uh, an opportunity to send, they wanted to send the results of a SQL statement via email, but they wanted to format that email in such a way that it looked good. So basically, uh, we use the database send mail. Uh, functionality to send the email. That's no problem. And in the scope of today, I'm not going to get into setting up the server to send email or anything like that. It was more of how do I format the body of the of the email to look good? So we formatted it in HTML. And really the whole you know crux of the email was really a, the results of a SQL statement. So for this example today, what I'm going to do is uh, go on over to my uh, other screen that I've got over here. And what, what I'm going to do is take a SQL statement. So I just had a simple one. I created something like um, this, where if I just said select employee and so forth from that, it's going to create um, kind of an output into a columnar format. So basically um, setting setting this up into a table where it's got every employee listed and their the full name of them and their job that they were in. So, and this gives you a little bit of a clue of what I'm, I'm trying to do here with uh, this TD that's, that's in play, but that's the SQL statement that we were trying to do. Just list all the employees. Um, their exact example had more to it, but I think you get the point. It's just any SQL statement. So how do we turn this SQL into a chunk of HTML that we can then send through the send mail. Well, on the send mail command, it took a string that was the body of it. So what I wanted it to do was just create the HTML as that string to send to it. And fortunately, SQL has, I'm gonna just copy and paste. I don't wanna type this all out. So I'm gonna just paste in this whole little routine that I created here to do that. And basically I'll go through each piece. The top part here, we're gonna create a, a variable that I just set to, as a varchar max. And that variable I called HTML table. And that's what I put here. Then what I started doing is just creating that HTML string as a string of text. And as you can see, if you know HTML, I've created a, a heading a category that I called employee list. And then I did plus and I did a new line where I created a table uh, element. Then tables inside HTML have rows. And then on that row, I put um, some headers that were there. Now, really the key for the, the SQL part was, here's that statement that I showed you earlier, what I highlighted, it was just that part. But I wrapped it with a cast statement. And then the four XML path, We'll do a, a TR around each one uh, with the type. And then it puts that into the nvarchar max and appends on table. And then the very end here, it's just going to select the results of that just so you can see that. And what I was doing in my actual example was embedding this HTML table as the body of the email, that variable. So really, I'm going to select it out. But if I run this, what happens is the output, it's very quick here is a, and I'll put it into a notepad so we can see that a little bit better. It's not going to be perfect here, but if I paste that in, it generated an HTML line where for every row, it put those tags in there of each employee and, and job and everything. If I save this, why don't I go ahead and I'll, I'll uh, do a save as on this. And instead of a text document, I'll put it to C data, and I'm just going to call this webinar.html. So I'll just do a webinar.html, putting it in my data uh, folder. So if I close this back down, uh, if I go over here and I double click that webinar.html, it opens it up in the browser. And as you can see, it's my formatted table with the employees, their names, the job codes, et cetera. So going back, you know, that was very straightforward, but going back to that, really the key is you're just creating your string of HTML. If you ignore all this, this is the part in, on the top to generate the, the first part of the table. And here's the, the ending table. But really the key is this for XML path uh, 
finding the the TR and then appending in uh, this data to it. So you can take any XML or HTML that you want to create, put that in here, and then just fit it into the columns of the table. What I did up here on these table headers, as you see, is I just created the three headers for each of the columns that I was putting there, my employee, my name, and my job code. Um, but you can create whatever you want into that. So as you can see, pretty straightforward and, and not as difficult once you see how to do it. But with this 4XML path, it kind of gives you that recursive uh, tree that you need to build that table in it. So hopefully you found today's session interesting. So whether you're saving, doing this and then saving it to a file or doing this and sending it to an email, this should give you the little segment of code that you need to pull that off. So as always, if you do have any uh, suggestions, feel free to send those to um, info at dashboardgear.com and we'd be happy to, to do those in a future session. So we'll talk to you again next week. Thank you.